Well, it's Tuesday, day two, and there's a whole lot of stuff on the agenda here today. Masterclasses, workshops, key speakers, there'll be a quiz, and we're gonna start up the Chains Reactor. I'm quite sure there's enough particles floating about in the air today. And chemically speaking, I'd say the molecules are asymmetrical, but highly functional. Let's go inside now. Day two. How's the chemical bonding going? Actually, it's going quite well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Met a lot of nice people. New ideas. It's really nice. Yes. And a lot of good, nice lectures, uh, posters. Especially, I enjoyed in poster session. Um, I would say that it's going quite well. There's uh, quite some interaction. <coughs> I think that's completely good, but it's going so well. I like this conference. You, there are so many uh, professors and teachings. It's very nice. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Local bonding is excellent. It was a nice day yesterday. A lot of interesting uh, lectures. So uh, hopefully today as well. What are the challenges for chemistry at the moment? Well, uh, for example, one thing that we heard uh, yesterday is cradle to cradle. So I think that's a big challenge. Well, if we really want to do cradle to cradle, then we have to use a lot of chemistry. To survive the current political climate. A better world, a better uh, environment. I think it's basically to reduce the amount of waste. It's like uh, at the moment we use a lot of chemicals from oil and then to find biodegradable ones. That's like the main challenge. Understanding life at a molecular level would be one of the most interesting chem chemical challenges over the next few years. There are uh, challenges in the field of uh, materials, smart materials, in the field of material scarcity. One of the challenges which we absolutely should address is uh, to prevent the competition with the food chain. With the chemistry we can find uh, new molecules to target several diseases. Finding, finding the, the, uh, enough money for new equipment is, is for us a big challenge. <laughs> What's your favorite poster here? My favorite poster, yeah. this is my poster. Well, my favorite poster is of course my poster. Well, of course it's the one behind you because it's my poster and I put a lot of effort in it so I'm really happy with that. Of course my poster I would say, <laughs> you are standing in front of it. Because I consider it is the best, has the best layout and of course the best chemistry. Well, obviously it's that one. <laughs> Why? Colleagues. What made this conference so memorable for you? I think the opening performance, the singer, 
first of all, it's a, it's a show of chemistry. It's beautiful, the excitement, you know, to bring all these young people together here. And chemistry is unique because it is already a multidisciplinary science. So you find physicists here and biologists and everything in between. The fact that I'm able to, to talk to uh, colleagues from physical chemistry, um, I'm myself organic chemist, working at the interface of, with physics and biology to meet all those people. I think the most important thing is that we can network and everybody is here. I mean, many people you see, uh, maybe you hear about, uh, but now everyone is here and, uh, and there is a nice exchange of ideas. So uh. Uh, This building. Uh, well, I think the, the, the opening yesterday was memorable for everybody, I think. But Been there, seen it. Done it. Chemically speaking, I'd say, these are the secret ingredients of a successful day. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>